When you're creating a smart home without a cloud connection, one of the best ways to expand the capabilities of your smart home is to add more devices. And if you recently bought a Home Assistant Green, you'll be forced to stick with Wi-Fi devices unless you add some other way to add other devices like Zigbee or Z-Wave. So the Home Assistant Connect is a USB dongle from Nabu Casa that adds either Thread or Zigbee to your smart home. So in this video, I'll walk you through how to install and configure the Connect for Zigbee and we'll go over the pros and the cons of using this device. Now, unfortunately, there were a few cons as you'll see later on. And then at the end, you can see whether the Home Assistant Connect is worth your money or whether you're better off with something else. So let's get to it. Now, I don't have the original box because I bought it a couple of years ago. So I'll link to a video with Ton Time Tech where he does an unboxing, but the Connect comes in a really simple box with just a USB extension cable. One thing I want to mention really quickly, the Home Assistant Connect used to be called the Sky Connect until they renamed it in the middle of 2024. So you might see me use Sky Connect or Connect interchangeably. They both refer to the same thing. It's the same device. So first up, let's talk about some of the good things about the Home Assistant Connect. So in order to install it, you take the Home Assistant Connect and you just plug it into one of the USB ports just like that. Now I would strongly recommend that you use a USB extension cable or extension hub of some kind. That way you can avoid any interference issues that sometimes occur with this unit. So once it's installed, let's go ahead and configure it. So after plugging in the Home Assistant Connect, we need to double check and make sure that it's recognized by Home Assistant. So go over here to System, and then you'll go to Hardware. You can see that my platform is the Home Assistant Green. If we expand this all hardware, you can scroll down to the bottom, and there will be the serial device over here, and you can see the Nabucasa Sky Connect, and then a version and then a big long string of numbers. So you're here on the settings page. We can go up to integrations. Let's go ahead and click add on the Home Assistant Sky Connect box. Now, at first it'll say, which one do you want to use? The Home Assistant Connect can use either Zigbee or Thread, but not both at the same time. For this one, we're going to choose Zigbee. Technically, there is a firmware that supports both Zigbee and Thread, and generally it has been recommended to avoid it. So we'll go ahead and click on Zigbee. Now it says Zigbee setup complete. Basically, it just took your USB dongle and made it available to the Zigbee home automation integration that we're about to set up. This is good, uh, so go ahead and click submit. Now, if you see this box, you can just choose where to put it. Go ahead and click finish. We need to go back over to the integration page and now you should see a Zigbee home automation box automatically discovered here for your Sky Connect. You can click add. They'll say, do you want to set up Sky Connect for Zigbee? We're going to say yes. Now, if you're setting this up uh, for the first time, you can just do a race network settings and create a new network. If you've created a backup of your Zigbee network, then you can upload it here um, if you want, or just keep whatever's on the stick. I'm going to erase the network settings. I actually took this Home Assistant Sky Connect from my personal system, and I am wiping it for this video. So we're gonna go ahead and click Erase Network Settings. We'll then say Loading the Next Step. So you sit here for a moment as it erases all the settings on the Home Assistant Connect. If all goes well, you will see the success box. Kind of the same thing, you can pick the area on where you put it, so whatever, bedroom. All right, so go ahead and click Finish. It'll drop you over to this Zigbee Home Automation integration page. You can see here that it'll show the one device with your connect over here. Go ahead on this page and click on the add devices button. It will start searching for Zigbee devices. This is where you'll start the pairing mode on your Zigbee device. I have an Ikea trad free button here, so I'm just gonna press the button on the back several times so that it will pair. Once your device has started pairing with the Home Assistant Connect, you'll see that a device has been found that starts to interview. It will take a few moments to go through the interviewing process. And so if all goes well, you should see this initialization complete box. You can also change the device name directly. Just make sure you name this device in a way that you'll remember what it is. Back here under the Zigbee Home Automation integration, we can all see that there are two devices. If we click on that, we will see our Sky Connect like before, but then we also see our new nightlight button. So if you click on that, don't worry about the battery being unknown here. Sometimes during the pairing process, the battery information isn't sent over to the controller. So just wait a couple of hours or maybe up to a day and see if it shows up. 
And so when I press the button, the events show up under the Zigbee logbook over there on the right hand side. But setting up the Home Assistant Connect was not all sunshine, unicorns, and rainbows. I did encounter some issues specifically around firmware updates. So when I first tried to configure Thread on my Home Assistant Connect, it sat there for a moment and then spat out this error message. I thought, okay, maybe mine is a little older. It needs a firmware update. So I went to go update the firmware. But apparently mine was too old to have the automatic updates through the Home Assistant update menu. So I had to update the firmware manually using an add-on from Silicon Labs. This basically lets you flash the firmware directly onto the Home Assistant Connect if you get that weird error earlier. Go ahead and click install. Make sure the Zigbee Home Automation integration is not running. Now, before you start, go up here to this configurations tab and there'll be a couple of options here. For the device, you wanna go down to the Sky Connect. Mine defaulted to 115, 200. So go ahead and click save. Then go back over here to the info tab and then click start. So when it first ran, it ended up actually crashing. Oh, that's not good. So I went to the add-on settings, I restarted the add-on, and then went back to the logs, and this time it recognized the Home Assistant Connect, went through to update the firmware, but it still didn't show up in the Home Assistant update menu. So I had to reboot all of Home Assistant, and then it finally showed up in the updates menu. But then after clicking update, it sat there for a moment, and then gave another update failure down at the bottom. Now, first I went to make sure that all of the add-ons that might be using the Home Assistant Connect were disabled. And then after rebooting again, I was finally able to start installing the firmware updates. After a few minutes passed, it made its way all the way to installing 100% and then finally installed the latest version of the firmware. And so after all that, I rebooted again, just to make sure, disabled all the other add-ons and then switched to the thread version of the firmware. It sat there for a few minutes and then just gave the original error message that I had gotten in the first place. So should you actually buy the Home Assistant Connect? Well, it depends on a few things. If you're looking for a small USB Zigbee adapter that has a reasonable MSRP of around $30 to $40 US, then I think the Home Assistant Connect would be a good option. Getting it set up with the Zigbee Home Automation integration was pretty easy overall. And then when I paired my device, it added quickly and then was responsive uh, within Home Assistant. If you're looking to use Thread, however, in your Home Assistant instance, I would recommend looking for another device to use as a thread border router. I never did get it working with the Home Assistant Connect. And while doing the research for this video, I found that there was a problem with some of the newer Home Assistant Connects that would cause a voltage regulator to fail under certain circumstances. And that could actually brick your device. On the screen is a picture of what it'll look like if you are affected by this issue. Now because I pulled all of the stock of all Home Assistant Connects and are issuing replacements. So if you have a newer Home Assistant Connect and it's not working, you might want to check out their uh, replacement program and see whether um, you're impacted or not. But this gives me pause in recommending this product. And I think if you're looking for a fully fledged thread device, then you should use another option. If you're using the Home Assistant connect just for Zigbee and it doesn't have the voltage regulator issue that I mentioned a moment ago, then that's great. And if you can get your hands on it without having to pay absurd scalper prices, then it would be a good option. If you can't find one, however, then I would recommend another device like a Sonoff USB plug. This one has a good reputation and it's widely available on Amazon. So I'll put a link in the description if you want to check that one out. So what do you think about the Home Assistant Connect? Do you love it? Did you hate it? Draw me a comment and let me know if you were able to get it working with Thread, because I would actually be really interested in knowing um, if anyone could figure that out. If you're looking for a tutorial on how to set up the Home Assistant Green, check out this video where I go into, I go through the unboxing, how to set it up and uh, configure Home Assistant for the very first time. So check out this video here and I will see you over there.